We look at data in a variety of different ways. Um, for our core academic classes, um, we use a data-driven instruction um, model um, where we um, take data from major assessments um, and look from both a student lens, a standard lens, a student group lens, a skill lens, um, to be able to identify where we see um, gaps in students' learning and real opportunities for growth. Um, and then what we we do what we call like excavating the gap. So we don't just notice, you know, what it what the gap is, of course, but um, what deeper conceptual misunderstandings seem to be leading to that gap, and then plan for ways to address it. Um, and that could, the ways to address it, depending on um, what the data is showing, could be whole group um, reteaches or reviews, or it could be pulling small groups. Um, it could be um, like uh, having peers, matching peers up to help each other. There are just a variety of ways that we might do that. Coming out of our quarter three benchmarks, but by the end of quarter three, um, we tend to have um, taught most of the core content of our grade levels. So we've created our scope and sequences, so that is true. Um, and so in using our quarter three benchmark data, we are able to carefully assess um, what students have mastered and what they have not yet. Um, and it is a time that then we can, that's when we spend the most time on creating all of these subgroups, et cetera, and we can design learning experiences um, over the next quarter that are really tailored to making sure that they are remediating gaps, um, that they're practicing in the areas that they might still um, need to practice, um, or that they're going like deeper or extending um, if there are places that we see that they've, they're really ready um, to go beyond.